Yeah, still the 10th of November, about 8 o'clock at night. This is my last project I want to get done today. I got this riser for the main water that comes up above the floor. And I'm trying to get all open floor space with no impediments. So, had to cut about a 20 by 20 hole in the concrete with a diamond blade <clears throat> to find the edge. And with my stream power jackhammer, the red thing over there, start busting out concrete. This slab varies from four inches to I ain't found the bottom yet. Uh, where these water pipes are, I'm still hitting the solid concrete and I'm down a foot. I'm using the Makita for the fine work so I don't bust through the water lines and you get a fountain blowing. So I think I'm deep enough that when the plumber does a uh, T to tie that one inch into that three quarter, I should be about three inches below the slab. You can see how dirty I am. I'm just absolutely filthy. Got some blood on me. Cut my knuckle, cut a finger. Had one piece of rebar I had to cut out. I used a diamond blade for that because it's mixed in with the concrete. That, those diamond blades are pretty good. Uh, I bought some for a four inch grinder and uh, they'll cut through metal. Uh, there's some of the stuff I took out. I still got a bunch on the floor. It's a hell of a mess. But I think uh, I got enough down there that the plumber can keep everything way below the surface of the floor when I pour in the concrete. And uh, I gotta clean my hole to find my edges a little bit better. And then uh, probably get some sand to pour over the uh, water lines and not use this sharp gravel. I don't want concrete that deep either. I don't know, I might just concrete it, who knows. Uh, long day. Uh, the welder still runs like a new one. Uh, it's only got 55 hours on it, it better run like a new one. I got just a minimal amount of gas in it and uh, I start welding a lot. I put in some fresh gas just a little bit at a time so it don't get stale on me. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on the battery charger overnight Make sure that battery's charged all the way up. And then I'll come back tomorrow and I get a hold of the plumber and I'll tell him I'm ready for him. While I'm waiting on him, I'll finish cleaning my hole. And then uh, after that, start pouring concrete. I'll patch this the same time I'm filling my troughs and just make a day of it pouring concrete. Be able to use my new mixer over there. Yeah, but this uh, extreme power jackhammer, they call it demolition hammer. Uh, she ain't bad. Uh, Amazon, you know, so if you need one, it weighs about 55, 60 pounds. It ain't light, but uh, it got some power to it. This concrete's close to 50 years old, so it's good and cured. And uh, is able to bust through it, make little rocks out of big rocks. And, uh, the Makita for fine work is great. Uh, that's just drill bit, concrete drill bit, I mean hammer mode. And you can get right down to it and uh, get right up against the pipes and not bust them and get the concrete out. So that's all good. But I'm pretty sure the plumber's got plenty of room to work with. And uh, if you don't, you know, I'll just keep on busting out concrete while he's waiting on me. So I'm thoroughly tired. I still got to roll everything up and uh, lock the building up. People next door at my old factory. I swear to God, every one of them is looking over here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Trying to figure out what's going on over here. I had a former employee, uh, Jesse, came by. He wasn't a very good employee. Uh, he's a drunk, you know, I guess they call that a disease. But, hey, Mr. you need any help? No, no, I don't. I uh, told Jerry today. I will never, ever, ever in my life have another employee. I'm done with that. 
So, if I can't do it by myself, I won't do it. And I got some stuff I got to get tomorrow. I need a new welding hood, some welding gloves. I got all the stuff up at the farm, but I'm not at the farm, and it's a 76 mile round trip. But, I'm tired. I still got to close everything up. So, that's all for this one. Thank you.